ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ giant needles shooting pain and swelling that can last for days shots they're those awful things that we hate getting but are they even worth it absolutely most if not all shots that are given to kids are vaccines vaccines are the unnatural way of giving us immunity against many horrific viruses or bacteria that cause tons of human diseases with vaccines we can almost eliminate many life-changing diseases including polio rubella measles mumps chickenpox diphtheria pertussis tetanus and many other pathogens so do these vaccines work by injecting us with some super amazing substance that goes around killing all of the pathogens uh no not really not not really at all there are a few types of vaccines that work in a couple of different ways but the most common ones are killed attenuated or toxoid vaccines killed vaccines include dead or inactivated but previously virulent pathogens attenuated vaccines contain live or working pathogens that have been made in a lab to disable their virulence so basically they don't work anymore toxoid vaccines use inactivated toxic compounds these vaccines are usually used against bacteria that make harmful toxins against us These vaccines work because your immune system attacks the pathogens, learns how to kill them, and using memory cells kind of remembers how to kill them if they ever attack in the future. If the real pathogen ever enters your body, your immune system will be like, "Hey, I've seen this before." It will attack swiftly and quietly without you even knowing. Ninja immune system for the win. So, are vaccines perfect and should you get your kids vaccinated? Yes, absolutely get them vaccinated. There are nearly no problems associated with vaccines and they absolutely for sure, based on hundreds of studies, do not cause autism. Popular media had issues with vaccines based on false or poorly conducted studies. So please do not listen to them. Vaccines on the other hand are not perfect, but they work for years to decades. They slowly lose their effectiveness over time, but this makes sense because if your immune system hasn't seen something for 20 something years, it basically thinks it doesn't need to defend against it anymore and starts to forget how to defend. Vaccines also do not defend against all the diseases 100%. Though it is rare, you can still get the disease if you are introduced to the pathogen. This is why we rely on herd immunity. Herd immunity is a defense that the population gets if most of the people are vaccinated. Those people will never get the virus and then it can't get spread throughout the population. The pathogen never gets a start in the population in the first place. This is why it is so important to get vaccinated. You will help yourself stay healthy and keep the people around you safe as well. But now we know how wonderful vaccines are and how thankful we are for all the hard-working scientists and research done to keep us safe from all of these awful diseases. Hey there guys, how you doing? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. We appreciate it a bunch. If you want to subscribe to catch all of our new videos, go ahead and do that right now. It's just a click away. Also, if you want to watch some of our old videos, feel free to click the annotation above over there. Or if you want to watch the animators channel, click on the link below. As always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.